All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxfight here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Shining Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, we have finally now arrived here at Bellstone City, and not only that, but we did go and enter into here, into Mailing's Gym, went and battled out with quite a bit of some of the different karate trainers over here, had to go and move around with some of these annoying little barrier pieces just so that we can finally be able to now go and access our way to go and challenge out with Mailing, and that is exactly what is going to be happening out here for today at the very beginning of this this episode and not only that uh but however we are going to have to go and help out with dawn a little bit as well too to i believe to retrieve back her pokedex as well from team galactic and uh i don't think we're gonna do too much stuff within the next route but i think all that we're gonna be doing is just encountering out with the two encounters because we got the one that's over at where the uh, guy with the unknown report is actually located at if i remember correctly and then i believe also as well too uh i think uh, there should be an encounter right on the actual route itself so we actually do got like two uh two encounters to go and see what we can go and grab but before we go and do that we got ourselves a little bit of some team recap to go on so let's go and do this first so we got ourselves luffy at level 34 does have flamethrower power up punch slack off and also with u-turn does it do a sean at level 32 with takedown thunder punch confusion and also with thunder shock we also do a maryland at level 33 with aqua tail bounce play rough and also with aqua ring we also do have jet at level 31 with growl pounce weak hits and also with life do we also do have joan at level 29 does have stomp but uh Stomp, stomp, bite, sucker punch, and headbutt. Jeez, I don't know why my tongue was a little bit twisted on that one, but okay, we got ourselves Java at level 30 with poison powder, leech seed, seed bomb, and also with growth, and uh, that is should be everybody on the team. And before that, we got ourselves a super potion that we also do need to go and give on over to Maryland as quickly as we can, because you never know what type of craziness is going to be happening. But at least we do have Maryland for the job with play rough, so any type of dragon type Pokemon, we will be able to knock them out hopefully pretty quickly. But let's go and do this battle out here now if i recall from before i think mainly does have i think three pokemon to literally start off with because i think she does have that lucario that's kind of like her main staple pokemon and then i think she also does have like a machoke and i think like also another pokemon as well too so let's see what other type of randomized pokemon that she's got instead of those pokemon so let's go and do that here all right so mainly is gonna be sent off with first it's gonna be oh god no oh god no why why do you have to bring out this pokemon Really, we just already had to encounter out with one of these little leaves during the last episode. And do you know how insane that was? Ugh. Okay, well, you know what? We got U-turn out here. Hopefully, this could be able to just knock it out. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, unfortunately, I do have to kind of go and use our U-turn here. So, let's just go and put that to good use. Uh, I know that we can't really go and use Sean at the moment. But I guess we have to go out into Maryland. Hopefully, with an Aqua Tail... Hopefully it can somewhat at least kind of be a little bit doable. I don't know if this leaf has Mega Drain at this point, but it does have Ingrain, so it is going to kind of heal itself back up a little bit, which that's going to be a pain in the neck, though. Uh, so very little. Uh, let's go for... I don't know. Is Play Rough going to do enough? We'll try out Play Rough and see if that's going to do enough. All right, let's go for that first. Come on, just use Play Rough and hopefully that's going to do hopefully enough. Yes, it does. Okay, phew. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure, I thought that Lilith was still going to be like living on red and then we would have to go through that whole entire scenario all over again because I do not want to see this man try, or, or see this girl, I should say, try to literally go and use up a super potion. Uh, we do have Aqua Tail, so let's go and set up for that. This Nakata should be a done deal anyways. All right, there we go. Uh, what the heck? Uh, Metal Claw. That's not going to really do anything. All right, here we go. Another one. Oh, of course. She has to go and set up for a super potion. Come on now. Uh, well, hopefully we can at least get ourselves with the critical. At least. Can it be happening? Or high roll? No. Okay. Well, fine. We'll just have to just go for another Aqua Tail then and see if we can... Oh my god, are you serious? Well, it's a good thing that you're burning out your potions now. Uh, because I don't know what type of last Pokemon that you already got at the moment. Let's go and throw down another one. Oh, come on. We're almost there. Jeez. Yes, our Quick Claw popped again, dude. Finally, at least our Quick Claw is at least doing something now. But there we go. I remember during that last episode, that flare out went a little bit faster than us with the Quick Claw game popped, though. Which, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Even though that that, that we kind of got first dibs for uh, for the first attacking move, it, it seemed like it kind of jumped ahead and went to flare out instead. Oh my god, are you serious? We got ourselves a Reg Ice? Oh my lord. Well, someone's going to get exploded today. I don't know who it's going to be, but someone is. This seems like a big major problem. Uh, I have to go out into Luffy. 
I don't know if this man has anything that's going to be too crazy on it. It does have ancient power. Hopefully, it does not try to get anything uh, too wild. Uh, let's just show this out for a flamethrower, and hopefully, we can at least do something, do enough damage. Uh, I know that this red dice may probably hold on to the flamethrower, though. Uh, bulldoze. Ouch. That's going to probably hurt a bit. Okay. Um, now, this is not good. This man's going to try to lower my speed. Oh, please don't try to go for a freaking explosion already. This is going to be a problem. 100 HP. Uh, 60. Let's go for a Moo Moo Milk. We're going to go for a full a full restore out here. Well, not really for a full restore, but go for like a hyper potion type of thing. Trying to make sure that we get ourselves all regained back up. Hopefully Bulldoze doesn't do a lot. Ugh. Jeez, that man does it. Okay, we may probably have to switch on out from here. Because I do not like that bulldoze at all. Um, we may probably have to go and probably set up for Maryland's. Do maybe a switch out or something. Because I don't trust it. Because I know that this man's going to probably go and set up for another uh, one of those pesky annoying bulldozers again. Uh, we have to go out to Maryland. Because I'm pretty certain I think we can probably take care of a bulldoze. And I don't really have to worry about it. We'll just have to just slowly whittle it down. It's got stomp. Okay. Well, at least we're kind of already seeing what it's got out here so far. Ancient power. Please don't try to get yourself a stab boosting or whatever you try to do, man. Oh, great. Oh, great. This could be a problem. Um, Let's just use an aqua tail. I don't know if this is going to do a lot. My god. Okay. Uh, should I probably sell for an aqua ring just in case if this is gonna like get way too hectic? Um, I guess we'll just sell for a play rough for now. Ice beam? What? So you don't have an explosion? Am I going crazy? I think we just saw every single move. I think this is what this red ice has. So it doesn't seem like it has explosion yet. Hmm. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it still has it, but we just haven't seen all of the... Well, I'm pretty sure that I think we have seen all the moves yet. Because it seems like uh, this Red Ice has both Ancient Power, it has Ice Beam, it has... Um, what else was it? It has like also has Stomp as well too. It has to have Explosion. It has to have Explosion at this point. It just doesn't want to go for it yet, but I know it has it. As like a last ditch effort. Okay, well, let's just go for another play rough and just knock it out, please. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, it also did have bulldoze. That was also another move, too. So, yeah, that was all four. So, it didn't seem like it already had explosion. So, that is totally fine. But I still really wouldn't want to have, like, Luffy already out into that battle anyways. Because I would not want to have uh, getting another bulldoze by another critical like that. That would not be all that too pretty. But at least everyone got up to their levels, and I think hopefully as well too. I don't know if Jabba may finally get up into a uh, evolution by this point, but that would be cool. But it seems like that is not going to happen yet. But however, we did get ourselves now with the Cobble Badge, so give that to me. Yes. Alright. Now we can finally go and move on forward and start heading on over to Pastoria City next. And we also got some stickers in the process too, which I don't think I'm ever going to use in my life, but at least we got some stuff there. Ourselves with some team 60s that continues Dream Punch. Yeah, not really a big fan of Dream Punch, but at least it's something though. Kind of restore some of our health back. If we already do need a Pokemon that will need it though. I think Inferno can actually learn Dream Punch, I think, because since we already kind of got ourselves a uh, Power Up Punch at the moment. Um, but I don't know if uh, if Dream Punch does a lot more than what Power Up Punch would do though. Let me see here. Oh, we got something for Mystery Gift Wise. What the heck? Am I going crazy, or what is that all about? Is, is, is that something new? But I think that just could probably just be saying that it's already been, like, already activated onto the mystery gift thing. Uh, let's go there. And let's go and heal you up as well. Okay, perfect. And let's, let's go check out this drain punch here. So, that no, that's rock smash, but we need to go down just a little bit forward. No, that's a little sweep. Drain punch, here we go. That does 75. And... Nope, so Luffy can't learn it. But, however, though, Joe can actually learn it. I think I wouldn't mind actually giving this to Joan, then. 
Uh, let's go and sw uh, let's go and switch around out here. We will go and remove out headbutt. I think. Yeah, I think. Uh, no, you know what? Stop actually does sixty five. So I guess we'll just kind of just switch that around. And there we go. And we got that now. So hopefully with Drain Punch, uh, we can regain uh, a little bit of some uh, extra health back from Joan. Even when she does actually does have the uh, the Shell Bell as well too in the process. Okay, so let's go and take this little shortcut around here though. And uh, let's go and help out with uh, Dawn and this whole Galactic Situation problem. Yeah, I think it's just literally saying that it's just new there. Yeah. Nothing new with the uh, with the mystery gifts because that seemed a little bit strange to me because like I know that I, I can't really access the internet or whatever here for uh, uh, for what my Yuzu has. Uh, let's see, let's see what these uh, Galactic Grunts are gonna have to offer. But yeah, why not? Let's go for it. I'm ready for this battle once again. Another double battle with Dawn. Let's get into this one. Now I don't know if they may probably just have one Pokemon each, but it seems like they already have two Pokemon each. Play Wrath of Squirtle. Well, that wouldn't be all that too hard because we could just literally just go and uh, switch around and we'll bring out Sean for this one. I think for me personally, I think the one Pokemon that's probably scary out of that is going to maybe probably have to go and be is that Poliwrath. Because it's going to probably have like hypnosis and all that. <laughs> and because also too, not only that, but we did have a Poliwrath before in our uh, previous series before this. So I kind of already know about what his, his moveset is already kind of being at this point. Alright, Aqua Tail. Well, there you go. You got statics. So, great job on that there, Squirtle. Uh, let's go for a Thunder Punch. We'll hopefully knock it on the Polyrath here. Mud Shot, though. Ouch. That's gonna hurt a little bit on the Nino Queen. But that's pretty cool now. It's probably cool that uh, Dawn actually has a Nino Queen at this point. But, unfortunately, she can't really keep that on her team, though. Because I know it's gonna, like, switch around at some point. There we go. Polyrath is already knocked out, so that was an easy win, though. And also an auto level up as well, too, so perfect. And Scratch. I don't think that's going to do that much to a Squirtle, but hey, nice. And also the process also worked in the process there. Gardevoir, huh? Okay. Well, uh, let's just go with for a Thunder Punch on the Squirtle first, and then we'll try and figure out what we could do with this Gardevoir right after. Psybeam? Uh, yeah, that's gonna probably knock out the Nile Queen right there. Almost. Jeez. Alright, Thunder Punch, let's go for it. Knock it on the Squirtle. Let's see what this other Galactic member is gonna have. So, this other Galactic member has a Gardevoir. That's his next Pokemon. Now, what's the other one here? Poison Sting? Ooh, that actually did quite a significant amount of damage there. Um, Area Dose. Alright. Um, do I have anything? Well, I can't really go and bring out Luffy. So then it would probably have to be Joan. We'll probably have to bring out Joan for this one. Or maybe Maryland. Uh, let's bring out Maryland. Because I think if we go for a bounce, hopefully that can at least do a little bit of damage onto Area Dose. And we'll see what uh, Nido Queen has to offer again. Psybeam. Uh, no. Uh, fortunately, Nido Queen is going get, to get herself knocked out. Oh no. So now it's just only a, it's a two against one match. This could be a little bit of a dangerous problem. Oh, no. We're still good. She still has a Munchlax. Okay. Super Bounce. Uh, oh, wait. What, what, super Bounce. No, let's just go for a Bounce. Uh, I saw Super Effective and Bounce at the same time, and then I kind of got a little bit confused there. <laughs> let's just go for a Bounce, please. Yes. And I know it's a little bit early in the morning, so I guess I, I, guess I could be all right, I guess. Oh my god, Fury Swipes. Wow, that did a whole 5 damage right there. Well, it still didn't do that much, though. Oh man, that's a good idea. Just keep on stockpiling up and keep your defenses going there, much lax. Alright, there you go. Come on. Ah. Yep, that side view is not going to really touch that much lax at all at that point. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. I thought for sure that was going to probably at least do enough. Okay. Well, let's just go for another bounce then. Uh, bite? No. It's a fairy type, so it's not going to do as much with the bite. Not like the older games, though. But if I go for one more uh, bounce here, we should be able to just go and knock it on the guard of war, no problem. Nice, we actually avoid the attack, so that was perfect with the fairy swipes. So not too shabby. 
Um, right. Come on, Mudslax. Bust out of that confusion. Nice. Well, at least Mudslax is kind of putting in the work a little bit. He's kind of just kind of whittling it down until, uh, until I go for the next attack. So that's pretty nice. Scary face. Yeah, that's gonna do some stuff there to Munchlax, but at least it's not gonna worry about for me for now. Nice, the belt's also worked again. And sweet, Ariados is out of here. Perfect. So we got that. So we got that Pokemon out of the way, and now all that we have left is this annoying guard of war. Come on, Munchlax, break on out again. Swallow, okay. Well, at least you're gonna get healed a little bit up, I think, right? With the stop piling, so that's not bad. So this Mudgelax is actually having a pretty nice good boost set. Yeah, unfortunately all the defense kind of gets worn off a little bit there. Um, I know that play rough is not going to do as much, I don't think. So we'll have to go for an Aqua Tail. Psybeam. Uh-oh. Ouch. That's going to hurt me a little bit. Aqua Tail, come on, let's go. Knock out this Gardevoir. Yes. All right, thank you. And there we go. And Galactic is done once again. And I think we can get ourselves an item, I think, uh, with inside the warehouse now. Because I think that's where we can get, I think, with Fly, right? And then we could just be able to go and fly around anywhere around Sinnoh by this point. Which, that would be really cool. Alright. Well, you know what? I don't really need to really worry about the about this dialogue here at all. Because we already read through this already from before from really a diamond. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, seriously. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I helped you out, Don. No problem. Got your Pokedex back. All right, let's go ahead and here. Now, I think if I go and pick this up, yep, we got TM94 Fly. Now, we can do that whenever we want to now. We just have to just go and just uh, access that into our... Uh, well, I think we can do it right off from our town map, though, too. Because that's uh, a little bit nicer. Now, before we go ahead and end on this episode, I did say that we are going to be encountering out with some Pokemon. So, we are, of course, going to be doing that as quickly as we can. I think we do have one battle that I think we need to go and probably do. But, I just reminded myself that uh, Maryland is almost out of uh, almost out of Aquatail. So, I want to make sure that I go and pick that up. Okay, there we go. Let's just quickly get healed up. And then, I think we should be set to go for there. Now, also as well, uh, right on after, uh, once this video is done, guys, you will be able to go and check out with the uh, Wind Waker HD. We're going to be finally going and taking care of the boss, and uh, we can now uh, hopefully be able to get ourselves our first uh, of, uh, of many type of uh, power-up type of things for our Master Sword to finally now get, uh, all, to finally be able to repel uh, the evil that's been going on with Ganondorf at some point. But I know that we still got the Wind Temple and everything of that nature to still go and, and do. So we still have to go and continue with that. So yeah, I think this is like the only one mandatory type of battle that I kind of have to go and face off with. And then I think right after that we should be okay. Alright, Giraffe Rig. What? Don't you normally have a Giraffe Rig? So isn't this like a vanilla Pokemon that she actually kind of has? Interesting. Um... Well, let's go and switch around here. We'll bring out Joan instead. We do have Bite, so this should be able to do some knockouts here. Now, speaking about Giraffe Rig, I already went and saw that Giraffe Rig already has like a brand new, already confirmed uh, somewhat type of form in Scarlet and Violet at this point. Because uh, mo mainly most of the people uh, that are on Twitter are basically calling this, uh, well, actually from confirmed because of the whole uh, Kaka type of guy that's been on Twitter so far. And he already leaked out a, a form for a giraffe ring, which I do have to say that actually does look pretty cool for what that evolution uh, is going to actually look like. Because it kind of looks like, uh, like you know, like the back part of giraffe rig, like that, like like, like that face is literally going to be like be like like a hoodie or something for like giraffe ring, which does look interesting. All right, well there we go. Got a little bit of help from the shell bell, but not as much. But a chin chow, okay. Um. What can I do with a Chin Chow out here? Because I know that Bite's not going to really do much. Um, I guess we could probably go for maybe a Drain Punch. We'll see how much that's going to do. Let's try this out. Yeah, well, you know what? At least it does something, and I can at least regain a little bit of health back from it. Oh, yeah, there we go. That works out well. Uh, T-Wave. Ah, that's going to be annoying. Well, hopefully we can at least just hopefully somewhat break on out of this if we can. I know that this Chincho is going to probably go out here first. Oh, and you parafused me? Oh, do you really have to be that annoying? Come on, man. Oh, I hate getting parafused. 
Because if it's going to be one problem, it's going to happen. Oh, wow. We actually broke on out, uh, out of everything. So that's really nice. Well, thank goodness. Well, there you go, Joan. Knocked down the chin shot for us. So that's perfect. And now we just have to go and worry about this last mon here. And that's going to be a Hound Doom. Okay. Well, Hound Doom would actually be somewhat perfect. Because I think I could just go for another Drain Punch here. But something tells me that I may probably get Parafuse. Or, okay. Or I could probably get flinched. Well, then I would have to go into Maryland then. Dang it. <laughs> I thought I'd just be able to just go for a Drain Punch. And that would be just be super effective. But I have to go and switch on out. Smog. Uh, that really should. Ouch. Well, that was a horrible idea. Well, at least it didn't do too much, though. Um, and I think I do have, I think, some... I, I think I do have some Petra Berries to kind of heal ourselves back up at some point. Nice. All right, hope we can at least go faster than a Hound do. And there we do. And knock it out. Perfect. All right. Hound Doom is out of there. That is awesome. And let's finally get ourselves a nice few good levels up in the process as well, too. Ooh, wants to learn Rain Dance. Okay, um... Well, Aqua Ring... I think we'll probably just go and maybe throw it out at this point, then. Because I wouldn't mind keeping Rain Dance, because then at least we can get our uh, Aqua Tail a little bit more powered up along the way. Nice, and now Joan's also going to be at level 31, and also Luffy's going to be at level 36. Normally, I think that would probably be the evolution at that point for Monferno. But we already got ourselves up for an ape, so that's already a plus right there. Alright, and there we go. So that takes care of that for right now. And let's just go into the bag. And I think I do have... Where's my Petra Berries? Yeah, we have a whole bunch of these guys. Don't even have to even worry about that now. Alright, so first encounter. Let's go and run into here first. And there is an item for us to grab. Nice, TM28 dig. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could probably give that over to... Uh, Maybe to Joan or something. Because now at least we got ourselves a ground type move. But running around in here, our cave encounter is going to be... Oh, a Drifloon. Okay, well that's an interesting Pokemon. But um, I guess we could go and try and capture out this Pokemon, I guess. Uh, Drifloon should be too hard of a, of a capture. Hopefully not. Because normally you can find this Pokemon over at the Valley Woodworks. So it should be an easy capture. Alright, come on. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, maybe I'll have to go for maybe a 1-2 Game Boy Luke. Hopefully that could probably at least do a little bit of some extra extra, uh, extra stuff here. Alright, another heal ball. Alright, 1-2. Uh, what? Hey. Stop being annoyed, Drifloon. You don't want me to go and knock you out already. Um, let's go and throw down a Pokeball then. Hopefully a Pokeball works. Come on now. One, two, Game Boy Luke. Come on. No. What? You have to shake it at three. Come on, dude. That's not nice. But I kind of do like this Drifloon's moose set, though. It has, like, Shadow Ball. It has, uh, also has Hex, too. The Shadow Ball is going to be really nice. All right. I'm going to hold down the B button. What? Fine. Uh, Payback. So that doesn't really do anything. Uh, wow, that was actually a critical hit, too. Um, I'm going to go for a flamethrower. Hopefully, this does not knock out the Drift Blue, but if it does, then I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, okay. I knocked it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. But you were just being annoying, man. You were, like, literally, like, shaking out of the ball so many times. Ugh. All right, well, you know what? I'm just going to go and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys when we start doing some Wind Waker HD uh, on the channel. And I'll see you guys then. And peace.